Hello everybody, it's Zechariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my running to run for all the fallen police officers, firefighters, and U.S. Border Patrol members who your life in line of duty in 2021. And as many of you know, whenever I travel to a new state I've not gone to yet, or a new state that I've not run a mile in, uh, in yet, I like to uh, run a mile in honor of all fallen first responders in that state while I'm, while I'm in that state. And we're here in Missouri today to do that mile for all fallen Missouri officers, firefighters, and any first responders who have lost their life in line of duty over the course of Missouri's history that they've had first responders. So we'll be, today we'll be running with the blue and red line combo flag, uh, which is a mixture of police and firefighter flag. Uh, and if, you, if you're an EMT or any other first responder, I want you to know, even though the flag may not uh, show it, this run still represents any of your fallen first responders or friends that have lost your life in the line of duty in the state of Missouri. So this run is for them as well. Today we'll be joined by many people from the SWAT team here in Green County, as well as many people, supporters from around the community. We're going to go ahead and start the run after I do a quick prayer, and then I'll be on my way for the run. We're just going to be going straight down on this road and then turn back and finish right at this point. So uh, once we stop, you'll know that we finished the run. So I'm going to do a quick prayer, and then I'll be on my way for the run.
every first responder lost in the line of duty in the state of Missouri. This is Zechariah's first mile in the state. He's doing the therm back in just a moment. We're going to be doing a quick loop around. Zechariah will return, head in the opposite direction.
over here, I'll go to the other. Looks like they're actually gonna go with covers that they're at. Good job. Thank you. As Zachary always does, no man left behind. He's all the way down, passing the railroad tracks already, going to retrieve the very last person, making sure that everybody who started the run is able to complete the run. We thank all the people that came out and joined him today. It definitely means a lot to him. I'm gonna stay recording. As you can see, Zach Ride down there where the sirens are at right now. It looks like the ATV also picked up the last person as well. Looks like the ATV is turning around, so it would appear that the last person has been recovered and they will work their way back towards us here as Zachariah completes his run. Looks like the final group is a probably a group of walkers that are finishing up right now. We want to thank uh, not only the Greene County Sheriff's Office for all their support and helping make this happen, but we also want to give our thanks to the Orange County Sheriff's Office all the way from Florida. Sergeant uh, Nazaro, who also is our uh, secretary for Run for Heroes, joined us and uh, played bagpipes for this run today. So we're very appreciative of him being here and being a part of this today to help honor our first responders from the great state of Missouri. We got a couple more runners coming by here in just a moment. Almost there, you're doing good, almost there. Awesome job. All right, here comes the last group. This is awesome because joining Zechariah is also all the SWAT members that ran with him. They also went back to retrieve the last person as well. And 
it looks like uh, we're gonna have pipes kind of finish off the way too. That's awesome. We just beat the train too. That guy's gonna come over here and he's gonna give a few words. All right, if everybody wants to gather around real quick, everybody wants to gather around real quick, Zachary is gonna say a few words and give a moment of silence real quick. And a prayer. And a prayer. Zachary, any final words for the families of all of our first responders lost in the great state of Missouri? Uh, this is the first time I've gone to Missouri, uh, but I gotta say, uh, I've made some memories here. Uh, and I know this is not the last time I'll be going to Missouri. And I, I bet not only Green County is a, a great county, I bet, you know, Missouri is such a great state to live in and to be protected in, you know. Um, even though, you know, Missouri may not be the biggest state in the United States of America, we still need some great first responders in every single city and every single town uh, that have departments to go and serve and protect. And, you know, officers, firefighters, um, you know, EMT, any first responder that have lost your life in Missouri, this run is for them. If you're part of the family of any fallen first responder who have lost their life in line of duty or a friend, I want you to know this run was meant for your fallen first responder as well. You know, I love being able to come out here and do these types of runs because, you know, we're not running for a specific person, we're running for all of them instead, which I think is a, a great, uh, you know, a greater thing to do because it's all of them instead of just one. I want to, I want to thank everybody with Green County, Green County SWAT, Green County Sheriff's Office, Everybody who came out here to support uh, not only our grant presentation, uh, uh, but this run, this run as well. You know, it means a lot. It's not only everybody here and all the families, but for me as well to get this experience in Missouri here today. I want to thank everybody who ran and walked and uh, joined me on this mile run. Everybody completed the mile, which is a great sight to see. Um, this run was definitely a great run, and I hope to spend as much as possible to the family. I also, if you guys did notice, the flag did come off for a part of it, but I want to thank uh, people that were with running with me. We got it back on, and we were able to continue running, and we never, we never stopped. We were running the whole time, so we were able to get that back on and continue running as uh, the best to our ability uh, for all these fallen first responders, and I think they uh, definitely deserved it uh, because, unfortunately, we, we lose a lot, including even in Missouri, so I hope this remains as much as possible to the family and departments. Three more things before we finish this run. First of all, if all of you tonight would like to join me in a prayer, sorry, all of you today would like to join me in a prayer uh, for all fallen first responders. Right after that will be a quick 21 second moment of silence like the 21 gun salute as well. So if all of you heads in a prayer, please do, including everybody here. Dear God, today was a run not for a specific person, but today was a special meeting of a run. Today we ran for all fallen Missouri first responders who have lost our life in line of duty in this one mile run. Uh, joining many people from Greene County uh, and many supporters from around uh, the Greene County and Springfield, Missouri area. God, thank you for keeping us safe during the mile and letting everybody complete it. Thank you for keeping everybody uh, safe from any uh, trains or cars that were coming past. And it was a slippery day, so keeping everybody safe and finishing the run, um, you know, it was a great mile. And, uh, you know, even though it may just seem like a, a run to some people, at the end of the day, it's a tribute. And I want to make the best as possible. So God, thank you for bringing us all here today. Do this smile. Thank you for bringing me safe to get up here. And, uh, you know, keeping uh, everybody safe here at Green County, including the grant recipient as well. Um, what a great story he has. And, you know, um, God, this is, a, this is a great day to come out here and do this run, even though it may be uh, sprinkling just a little bit. 
um, you know, it was a great day to come out here and run and uh, a great time to be here and come all together as a whole to support lots of different things in law enforcement and firefighters and all first responders in general. Thank you again for keeping me healthy and safe throughout these all these miles, unfortunately, that I have to do. Uh, and let's hope that in the future, uh, we don't lose any more first responders. And the only times I have to run is for memorial runs for all fallen first responders like the one I did today. Thank you, God, you say pray. Amen. 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 Sorry. Amen. Now, if all of you would like to remain in a 21 second moment of silence, like the 21 gun salute, uh, just a moment of silence for all fallen first responders that we have lost in the great state of Missouri uh, since we've had our first responders on the front line. So, if you all look better in a 21 second moment of silence, please do now. Thank you all for joining me in, in the moment of silence. Now for our last, um, for our last presentation, I'm now gonna be presenting the flag to our um, honorable grant recipient, uh, Deputy Lieutenant Westbrook. So if all of you would like to now um, gather around, like you already are, and I'll present the flag. Deputy Lieutenant C. Westbrook, in honor of your amazing dedication towards your community, uh, all of your you know inspiration that you have towards law enforcement, and not only that, but in honor of you and all fallen, uh, in honor of you and all Green County Sheriff's Office deputies who came out here today, uh, I would like to present you the flag I ran with today in honor of all fallen first responders in the state of Missouri. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's an honor. It's an honor. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for what Thank you do. You. I appreciate you and everybody from Greene County who came out here today. Uh, not only just who ran, but everybody who came out here, you know. Um, I'm glad to be in your county. I want to thank you for making all this happen. And I want to thank you for all of your dedication as well. Thank you. Thank you.